What if Deku joined Team JPDE? Chapter 54 Mommy Belladonna and Melting Harlequin Thursday Day 144 Before classes Deku had received a text from Neo. Hey, bestie. How's it going? You know I'm back in Vale again Neo texted. I guess the rebel's still keeping you occupied. And I'm good Deku texted. Moo, boring. Nothing exciting happened to you at all Neo texted. Well, I ended up being in the Barito forest after a ship crash. But I wouldn't say it was exciting. I almost died Deku texted. You almost what? How? Who? Why? Are you okay Neo texted? I am now. Had to spend a whole week in bed recovering. The grim there are no joke Deku texted. What? How are you so calm about that? You said you almost died. How can you just brush that off? Why didn't you tell me? I care about you, you know Neo texted. It's not the first time my life has been in danger, and it won't be that last. It's nice to know you care so much about me, but it's unneeded, you have your job to focus on Deku texted. After that Neo didn't text back. After dust class, Professor Peach had gathered Team JPD and Titania. So apparently the lockdown of the tower isn't autonomous, but it's tied to the lockdown of the entire school. The lights out, so to speak. So there's no way to undo it without undoing the entire complex. And that would be impossible to hide Peach said. Not without some serious hacking, at least. Penny, do you think Jack asked? I fear it would take too long a time and draw too much attention to seal. Just finding a way to get the access code is being incredibly taxing, considering it changes every day. But, on that note, she says she will be able to craft a suitably advanced spyware by Wednesday. With that, we'll be able to get the password for the elevator. But it will only stay hidden for a limited time. Afterwards, She'll have to redo everything from the top Penny said. We have to infiltrate next week, then David said. Yeah. Thing is, if we can't sneak in at night Evelyn said. Then we'll have to go in during the day. And that means getting Ospin to leave his office for a long enough time, somehow Deku said. Any ideas Penny asked? Not one. I don't know a thing about this guy Titania said. We need to find something that may hold his attention. A distraction David said. But what kind of distraction? Anything we've been doing hasn't distracted him at all. Professor Peach Deku asked. As far as I know, Ospin has only ever cared about his work and his mission. Whatever it may be. I'll try and see if Glinda has any ideas or hints about it Peach said. Team JPDD were all in their room listening to Deku telling them about his time with Kali. I'll be able to give you the scoop, as you said. Pretty cool, how Deku said. It can't be Evelyn said. Can't be what David asked. I mean. Right Evelyn asked. Penny, would you happen to have a picture of Miss Belladonna Jack asked. Not yet but give me just a second Penny said. She's got short hair, if that's what you want to know Evelyn said. Sent it to your scroll Penny said. I figured but I'm curious to see Jack said. Jack then looked at the picture. Oh. Oh wow Jack said. I know, right Evelyn said. Um, what's happening here, exactly Deku asked. Why is Deku meeting Blake's mom such a big deal David asked. Girls. War Council in the kitchen. Right now Jack said. Oh, exciting Penny said. The girls then entered the kitchen. What's going on David asked. Hell if I know Deku said. In the kitchen. All right, so. This woman is married, isn't she Jack asked. Very much so. They are quite a power couple back home Evelyn said. According to the network. They seem to have an unusually good relationship for people in a position of power Penny said. 
Then, why the hell would a happily married woman? I guess we're wrong Jack said. Actually, according to the rumors I've seen circulating substacks, it's exactly because of things like these that their marriage is so happy Penny said. Oh Jack said. Ah oh, Evelyn said. Indeed. Quite adventurous, if I do say so myself Penny said. Just like us. But at the next level Evelyn said. Okay, in that case. That lucky son of a bitch Jack yelled. I know, right. Anyway, calm down, it's just a dinner Evelyn said. It's never just a dinner. Maybe this one, but if he gets a second one Jack said. Should we tell him Penny asked. Hell no. Maybe this way he'll miss the signals and screw this up, the bastard Jack said. Damn, Jackie, didn't think you had it this bad for MILFs Evelyn said. Shut up. Anyway, what about the two of you? What do you think Jack asked, blushing. It seems pretty innocent Penny said. Penny the realized what Jack actually asked. I mean. Relatively so. I really doubt Miss Belladonna wants to, ahem, abscond with Ijuku Penny said. Unlike her sneaky feeled of a daughter. She still has to come apologize to us, the little Evelyn said. But what if it does happen? I know you've opened your relationship but, maybe fucking a girlfriend's mom isn't the best idea Jack said. Well, um, I wouldn't be opposed to it Penny said. Me too. And it would be something delightful to hold over Blake's head, wouldn't it? Hell, they don't even need to go that far Evelyn said. Is that really all it takes for you Jack asked? Well. Truth tell, I'm not as comfortable with, ahem. Occasional extra-conjugal physical activities, with people I haven't met, as Penny is but. I think I can make an exception because this is Cali Belladonna we're talking about. Look at her Evelyn said. Did you know she was a famous dancer before marrying? She's originally from Vacuo Penny asked. Jack sighed. Once again, the lucky bastard. Speaking of him, thought, how do you think he'd react Jack asked. Probably by becoming a tomato, but afterwards. Who knows? He can just refuse if he doesn't like it, anyway Evelyn said. I agree. If he does though, I suppose we'd be holding that over his head forever, wouldn't we Penny asked. Oh, you know it Evelyn said. Fine. I guess we're sending him flying blind, so to speak Jack said. But not in his normal clothes Jack said. Oh. Hell no Evelyn said. Oh my, no. Definitely something nicer Penny said. The girls then left the kitchen. Okay. Now that you're back, can you tell me what Deku said? Sorry, Ijuku, we were just consulting, what with it being your first dinner invitation and all. You should maybe dress up a little Evelyn said. Huh. Um, I guess it would look nicer than my usual clothes. I can wear my uniform I guess Deku said. And bring a bottle of wine or similar Penny said. Wine. Why Deku asked. Why not Evelyn said. Because I said so, you asked Jack yelled. Ijuku, it's common courtesy when being invited over. You should know that Penny said. I know it's a common courtesy to bring a gift, but I wasn't really thinking about wine. Can I even buy that? How far does this being considered an adult go Deku asked. Absolutely you can. It goes all the way Evelyn said. Okay. I'll get some wine then Deku said. Try not to be too cheap, alright Jack said. Sure. Um, thanks for the advice Deku said. You're welcome. Now be sure to show Mrs. Belladonna a good time, alright Evelyn said. But Mrs. Belladonna is the one hosting though David said. It doesn't matter Penny said. Oh, by the way, she'd rather be called Cali Deku said. Jack then punched Deku. Ah. Uh. Jack, why Deku asked. Because screw. Rather, go to hell Jack yelled. Deku was left to wonder why Jack was so angry. 
in Vale, late at night. Ah. I hate getting blood on my hat. Dry cleaning these things is always a bother. Thankfully it's black so it's not always an immediate concern but the smell accumulates, you know Roman said. Alright. What's with the silent treatment you've been giving me, young lady Roman asked. Neo pouted. We've spoken about this already. We need to do this ourselves because our men are otherwise occupied Roman said. Neo got angry. And no, our partners wouldn't take kindly to us diverting resources from the operation. Also, this is the best way we have of putting up a show of force Roman said. Neo stomped. The hell do you mean why do we have to appease them in the first place? Have you forgotten what we're dealing with, here Roman asked. Neo gave a bored expression. Not impressed. With what, exactly, are you not impressed? The terrorists with stolen prototype Atlas weaponry. The girl with magic powers. Or the grim at her beck and call Roman asked. Neo got angry again. No. No, we can't take them. We're an organization of thieves, Neo. You and me are the only ones who can use aura and ten of our underlings don't have half the training or drive of one of the fangs Roman said. Neo gave a crazed look. You really think I haven't thought about cutting off the head? We're not going that Roman said. Neo got angry once more. Because I said so, young lady. This conversation is over. We're going to do nothing but obey like good little pawns, hide under the protection of the bigger badder wolf that came into town, and hope that the storm overlooks us when it hits, nothing else. A Michael Roman asked. Neo glared at Roman before disappearing. I've been asking myself that question every day for the last 15 years, Neo Roman said. Friday. Day 145. Deku was in Vale worrying about Neo's sudden silence. Oh, good. Just the person I wanted to see Roman said. Roman Torchwick Deku asked. Yeah, yeah, you can bask in my presence later. Have you heard from Neo Roman asked? No. You mean she's not with you? What happened to Neo Deku asked? We. Had a fight, I guess. And her semblance makes her very difficult to find if she doesn't want to be found Roman said. I guess you've tried messaging her, to no avail Deku said. Hasn't replied. Mind trying for my, bestie Roman asked. Just one moment Deku said. Deku texted Neo and waited. And waited. And waited. No answer yet Deku said. She must have guess we are together. Hell, for all I know, she could be looking at us right now. That little psycho. Why can't she understand Roman asked. She could be looking. Just what does her semblance do Deku asked. Sharing trade secrets is the quickest way to an early grave, bestie. And that goes double for semblances. The moment you reveal their true nature is the moment you expose your weak points. If the other guy is smart enough Roman said. That's fair. Knowledge is power. More importantly, what happened? Last I spoke with Neo, we were talking. Well Deku said. About what Roman asked. Well. I kind of almost died, recently, and she got upset that I was so calm about it, even more so when I told her it wasn't the first time. And I told her not to worry and get back to focusing on her job Deku said. So that's why this suddenly came to a head. Gods damn it Roman said. You mean this is my fault Deku asked. In a way. Look, you mentioned her job. What do you know about it Roman asked. I know she's a criminal and I can guess she's your second in command. She told me that you're doing grunt work because all your men are otherwise occupied Deku said. All correct, yes. What she forgot to mention is that we're not exactly doing this because we want to Roman said. So someone has shown up who has more power than you Deku said. Indeed. The forces who, 
gently, requested our assistance are something that go beyond even that. There's no refusing them and so, we have been making do. A loss of liberty is a price I'm willing to pay if the alternative is annihilation. And so far, she has complained and even threw a fuss every now and then, but she mostly accepted it. But then. She goes and gets a best friend. And now her loss of liberty doesn't just prevent her from seeing you, it prevented her from being there for you when you needed her the most. Hence our confrontation and her disappearance Roman said. I understand why she might be frustrated. But I know for a fact that Neo thinks the world of you, Mr. Torchwick Deku said. I know Roman said. I mean, it can't be just that made her so angry at you Deku said. It wasn't Roman said. Then Deku asked. The Roman she knows would have never let a bunch of punks walk all over him, annihilation or not. My liberty, my freedom is. It's the entire reason why I entered the business to begin with. Why I left the academy, why I climbed to the top of the food chain in this city. Roman Torchwick is his own man. He doesn't lick boots, he doesn't submit, and if he can't break through a wall, he will find a way around it. That's what I've always been and that's the person Neo met Roman said. Then. What happened Deku asked. Neo happened Roman said. Deku smiled. Wipe that smile off your face Roman said. Have you ever told her that Deku asked? Of course not. The she might find a way to convince me to risk my life. Risk both our lives Roman said. I understand your concerns. Believe me, I do. But you risk losing her altogether, like this Deku said. Maybe that's be best. Neo is not me and she shouldn't be trying to become me. Ah, whatever. Enough with the mushy stuff. Contact me if anything about Neo comes up and shush about everything we've just talked about Roman said. Will do. I hope we find her soon Deku said. Yeah, yeah, let's swap scroll numbers Roman said. Roman and Deku then exchanged numbers and left. After they were gone Neo appeared. She was crying. Deku had gone to Kali's apartment for the evening. Good evening, Ajuku. My, looking quite dapper. Is that your uniform Kali asked? Hello, Kali. And yes. My teammates suggested I should dress up a little. And I agreed Deku said. I see. And what do you have there Kali said. It's a bottle of wine. A little. Housewarming gift, I guess Deku said. Oh, this is Kali said. Yes Deku asked. When buying the wine there were two types he could have bought, Atalsian red wine and Vakyozi white wine. Deku decided to buy the white wine. This is actually from my home region. I haven't drank this in a long time Kali said. Oh, that's great. Sorry it's warm though. I'm sure you would have liked to have it with dinner Deku said. I'll just put it in the freezer. I had already chilled another white but I can keep it for another time. Please come in Kali said. Kali then led Deku into her apartment. It's going to be around 30 more minutes for the fish to be ready Kali said. Oh, wow, that smells delicious Deku said. Flatterer. Wait until you try it for the compliments. I prepared some cocktails we can drink while we wait. Why don't we take them on the balcony? It's a wonderful night Kali said. Sounds good to me, although I don't drink Deku said. You don't? How come Kali asked? Well, last time I drank it didn't go that well Deku said. How so Kali asked? About a month after the second semester started, a club reopened, and we were invited. During the party however I ended up getting quite drunk after one drink. Apparently, there were two drinks with similar sounding names, but very different levels of alcohol. I think you know what one we got Deku said. Oh, my that's not a great start. Though I assure you these cocktails are not that strong, 
and may I suggest having some water in between sips Callie said. All right. Just stop me before I go too far, please Deku said. I will. Don't worry Callie said. Deku and Callie then head out to the balcony. Such a great view Deku said. You like cityscapes Callie asked. It's a nice change from the dormitories. All you can see there is wilderness Deku said. I see. Speaking of dormitories, you mentioned your teammates Callie said. Yes. Jack. Well, Jacqueline, David, Evelyn and Penny Deku said. Four teammates. I thought Hunter Academe split students up into teams of four Callie questioned. They do. Though our team is the exception. I was a last minute addition Deku said. I see. You must be very strong to have them break that normality Callie said. Yeah, I guess you could say that Deku said. So, one boy and three girls. Who among them is the bunny faunus Callie asked. Deku was surprised that Callie knew that. Ajuku, while your shocked face is cute, it cuts into the flow of conversation. You're going you have to get used to it Callie said. I guess so. Still, I can't help but be impressed. How are you able to deduce stuff like that Deku asked. Hmm, I did promise to elaborate some on myself. What about we make a game out of it Callie said. Okay, then. Should I try and guess Deku asked. Indeed. We'll try and guess things about each other from some hints. Let's me start so I can make an example. By rule Fawny, in case you don't know, usually get one animal tray when born, though some do have two trays at birth Callie said. I do know. In fact, I know a feline faunus girl with cat ears and a tail Deku said. But did you know that in very rare cases, some individuals develop a second tray upon reaching puberty Callie said. I did not know that. Interesting Deku said. One such tray is the reason for my inquisitiveness. What do you think it may be Kali said? Hmm. From what you've said, is it that? In addition to your enhanced hearing, do you also have an enhanced sense of smell Deku said? But how would I know if someone is an aura user from that Kali asked? Maybe people with an activated aura smell differently from non-users Deku said. Oh. That is an interesting theory. And it's also correct. It's indeed my sense of smell. It's very sensitive and it allows me to detect many things. Provided I know what the smell is. For example, I could tell that you had been close to Blake shortly before we met. But your bunny faunus teammate is your only long-term partner. I want to say girlfriend Callie said. Is that what you think Deku asked? Indeed. That'll be my guess Callie said. Wrong actually Deku said. Ha Callie said. Well you're a third right. I have two girlfriends and a boyfriend. Evelyn, the bunny faunus, Penny and David Deku said. Really? Oh my, I. I'm pretty sure I can only detect that kind of trace for one person on you. And a really faint trace of Blake Callie said. That's most likely because me and David have only recently been delving into that territory. As for Penny, it's probably because most of Penny's body is prosthetic Deku said. Oh. I'm sorry, I Callie said. It's fine. She was born with a condition that stunted her growth and other functions of her body. And despite that she's the most chipper and energetic girl I've met. None of us really care about it, including Penny herself Deku said. I see. In that case, may I ask how the situation come to be and where does Black Factor in Kali asked? Good question. I've already given you a clue, so why don't you try and guess Deku said. You have. Hum was it when you got drunk at that club Kali asked? Yep Deku said. So there was a mix up and you ended up having sex with the wrong partner. Was Evelyn supposed to be your partner, but you ended up with Penny? And when the dust settled, you all realized you liked the other and decided to become lovers Callie said. You're half right this time. 
I was far too drunk and making a fool out of myself, and Penny wasn't ready. David and Evelyn on the other hand. But thus I haven't drank since Deku said. Missing out on getting laid because you got drunk isn't great. Well, I assure you that won't happen here Callie said. Thanks. So, on to Blake Deku said. Blake. Considering the faintness of her presence, I can only guess that it was a spur of the moment which you stopped shortly after Callie said. Back to being right on. You're really good Deku said. Told you I have a lot of life experience. I hope Blake wasn't too hurt when you rejected her Callie said. Well, I didn't exactly. I mean Deku said. Speak freely, Ajuku. Keep in mind that I'm the one who brought it up Callie said. Well, I didn't reject her, I just stopped us from going further. Blake is a great girl, and our quartet has recently become more open, but she needs to discuss it first with them too. It's not just my and Blake's feelings in the mix, here Deku said. I guess that they weren't there when it happened and Blake surprised you, as well. Speaking of. Were they the ones who suggested the wine, by any chance Callie asked? Yes, except for David. Another good guess, Callie Deku said. Which means they know about me and the invite Callie thought. You have some very interesting teammates slash girlfriends, Ajuku Kali said. We're eccentric, yes. Just to give you an example, we had an exhibition match and Deku said. Deku then began to tell Kali about his team. There's no need, Ajuku. I have a dishwasher Kali said. Not for these wine glasses. I doubt they can be washed in machine without breaking Deku said. Heh, indeed. My thanks, then. I'm going to fix myself another drink in the meanwhile. Would you like one too Callie asked. Another drink. Um. The next bullhead is in two hours, and I don't feel tipsy yet, so why not Deku said. One more menagerie sunset coming up, then Callie said. Menagerie sunset. Because of the colors. Is that what the sunset looks like in menagerie Deku asked. Indeed. Menagerie is in the southern hemisphere of Remnant. The only inhabited land mass of it, as far as we know. Although sometimes, on our southern beaches, we Kali said. Suddenly the lights went out. A blackout Kali said. Oh wow, it looks like it's the whole block Deku said. Huff, talk about timing. I think there's an emergency light somewhere in the apartment Kali said. I think I saw it plugged in somewhere Deku said. Oh shit Deku said as he tripped. Ow Deku said. Thank goodness of aura, Hakali said. Still hurts though Deku said. You hit the corner of a table with your forehead. Someone without aura would have a concussion by now Kali said. I guess so. Hopefully the pain goes away soon Deku said. Hum Kali said. Kali Deku questioned. Deku's head was now in Kali's lap. Just relax Kali said. You don't need to Deku said, as Kali began to rub her hand on his head. Is it better, now Kali asked. Oh, very much. You're very good at this Deku said. I massage my husband's head pretty often. He tends to suffer from headaches, especially after dealing with foreign guests Kali said. Sounds awful Deku said. It can be, yes. He works very hard, and I hate to see him frustrated or in pain. So helping him get rid of stress makes both of us happy Kali said. I see. Is it stressful for you, as well Deku asked. Oh, sometimes. I do better with words of affirmation, though Kali said. Words of Deku said. Acts of services, words of affirmation, physical affection, gifts, quality time. They are the so-called love languages. Ways in which one expresses and receives love. Everyone has their favorite. My favorite is words of affirmation, Giras is acts of service. And then there's another one we share Kali said. Home, what is that Deku asked? Hey. 
try and guess Callie said. We're still playing the game. But I don't have any hints, Dodeku said. Hum, fair enough Callie said. Callie then gave Deku a hint. Is that good enough of a hint or Callie asked. Deku found out that it was physical affection that night. It was late at night and Janera in Vale. For the last time, I'm not lost. I'm just waiting for my mom and big sister to come back with an airship. Your concern is appreciated but unnecessary Janera said. All right, sweetheart. But don't forget that you can always ask cops for help if you get in trouble a Vale citizen said. Yes, thank you Janera said. Do I really look that useless on my own? I'm not Janera thought. I'm not Janera thought again. Hey, Janera. We're back Titania said. Did you wait long Peach asked. Long enough for every bleeding heart in the range of kilometers to come ask if I need help or got lost Janera said. Or. Oh. They just can't help wanting to help cute little girl Titania said. Whatever. Let's just go. Any developments Janera asked. We've kind of hit a stumbling block, truth tell Peach said. You have. What kind of stumbling block Janera asked. In short, we can only get in there during the day. So we need to lure the guy away from his office and we have no idea how to do that Titania said. Well, further thinking can wait till tomorrow. Let's go back, now. Who's hungry Peach asked. We are Titania said. Professor Peach and Titania began to go home, leaving Janera behind to think. Janera then smiled. Saturday. Day 146. Deku was in his dorm room worrying about Neo. Deku then got a text message. He prayed that it was from Neo, and it was. Yes Deku said. Tell him you need to come to where it all began Neo texted. Deku didn't understand what that meant, but maybe Roman would. Deku called Roman. Of all the enigmatic bullshit Roman said. So you don't know what that means, either. Are you sure you don't know Deku asked. I must know. But that doesn't. I mean Roman said. Okay, she said where. So, she wants us to go to a place Deku said. And where it all began. She can't mean the place where we first met, can she Roman questioned. That sounds plausible Deku said. But she can't mean that place Roman said. Why not Deku asked. Because that place has been gone for years. I had it Roman said. You what? What is it Deku asked. I had it torn down Roman said. Well just because you had it torn down doesn't change where you met. Where was this building? That's what she most likely means Deku said. Yeah, that makes sense Roman said. So where's that place Deku asked. Guess I'll show you later. Did she mention a time Roman asked? Not really, no. Maybe it's supposed to be the same time when you met. When was it Deku asked? Meet me tonight in Vale, bestie Roman said. Roman hung up. The night couldn't have come any slower, but when it finally arrived Deku went to meet Roman. Mr. Torchwick. Good evening Deku said. Hey. You know, it's been a while since someone has been addressing me with respect. Refreshing Roman said. Well don't get used to it. We'll be on different sides someday, and I'll have to bring you in. Hell, I should do that now. But I'm here for Neo Deku said. And she wouldn't talk to you again if you did. But don't think I'll go easy on you when we do. But let's put that aside. We still have 30 minutes to go Roman said. Roman then took Deku to where he first met Neo. So. This is the place Deku asked. Yeah Roman said. It's a really nice park Deku said. I know Roman said. May I ask, how exactly did you and Neo meet Deku asked. 
Roman began to tell Deku about how he and Neo met. Shit. Asshole cut me good a thug said. Stop moaning and use your belt to tourniquet it. And you go check the other room Roman said. Wow, Roman. I can't make out his face any longer. Where did you even get that cane a second thug asked. One of the thugs then opened the door to a room. Ho. Oh. oh, fuck a thug said. What is? Man not on my shoes another thug yelled. The hell are you idiots doing? Strop screwing Roman said, before stopping in his tracks. This. It's a girl Roman asked. Hell if I know. Kids so thin that. The smell of this room. Our thug said. Neck's pretty fucked up. The guy was into some kinky shit, how another thug said. The girl looked at Roman. She's staring at you, Roman. Maybe you're her type or something the second thug laughed. Roman then punched the thug. Ah. My nose. Roman, what the fuck the second thug said. Trope this place Roman said. Ha. Huh. But what about the the first thug said. Have you seen the state of this place? I don't trust anything made by the corpse to be sold by any of our guys Roman said. If you say so the first thug said. And someone bring me some covers Roman said. Deku now knew how they met. People would have you believe that after the great war, everyone sat around a table and decided that everything was going to be good and nice forever. Except that when a king suddenly abdicates and decided to turn a kingdom into a republic who's not ready for such a turn, all you get is fights for power. Fought behind the scenes with help of people with no morals, who then accumulate their power and make themselves dark corners where to reign. The slums of Vale City were an agglomerate of such corners. Neo was just one of the victims Roman said. So, she wasn't born into this life Deku said. She wasn't. Hardly anyone is Roman said. Roman then began to tell Deku more about him and Neo. What the? You Roman questioned. Neo had come to Roman's aid. Look. Thanks for the save but, no matter how many times you leave the orphanage, I'm just going to bring you back Roman said. The hell do you mean, it's boring. I think you had enough excitement to last you a lifetime. Right now you should be thinking about safety Roman said. That's not what you want, you say Roman asked. All right, I'll bite. What exactly is it that you want Roman asked? Deku now knew how Neo got into this life. She chose this life. Even after trying my damnest to give her a chance at being normal. She had aura and had her semblance. She could have gone to signal, then beacon, but nope. She decided she wanted to tick around Roman said. To stick with you Deku said. Yeah, and in the end I just gave up on trying to keep her away from danger Roman said. Neo then appeared. This time. This time I'm trying to do it because we've never has to face something like this Roman said. Neo expressed how she felt. Yeah, yeah, you're not impressed. But the odds are ever not in our favor. This is not something we can face head on. And even trying to do it cloak and sword. With just two of us, the chances of coming up on top are close to zero Roman said. Three Deku said. I'm sorry Roman asked. If you need help getting out of trouble, I'll help you Deku said. Kid, are you even aware of what you're saying? Passing over the fact that you have no idea of the forces you'd have to face. There's the high chance you'd have to kill people Roman said. I'll work around the killing part. I don't care who you are or what you've done. If you need help, I'll be there Deku said. Neo smiled. That's the sweetest thing anyone has ever said to you Deku asked. You. Definitely deserve each other Roman said. Finally found you, Roman a crime boss said. Well, look who finally grew a pair. Then again, you're all gathered together Roman said. So the rumors of you just running around Vale unguarded were true.
Even if it's you and that little hellion, with this many people and this much dust there's nothing you can do a thug said. Hey, kid. Ajuku Roman said. Yeah Deku asked. Do you mind helping us show these morons exactly what the difference between an aura user and a common man is Roman asked. Since you asked so nicely. I just have one condition. No killing Deku said. Very well Roman said. Ha. Huh. You've gone soft Roman the crime boss said. You'll be glad I have Roman said. The three then fought the thugs all night long. Alright, it was a lot of people and dust, I'll have to give them that. Thought I had given the order to hand over everything we had. Which means they had been planning at least since. Damn it, I knew this would happen but so soon. Those are all my lieutenants lying on the ground, there. Anyway. I'm surprised to see no dead bodies, he Roman said. Well, I did ask that you not kill anyone Deku said. I know. I'm just surprised Neo followed your condition. She only takes orders from who she pleases Roman said. Good to know she likes me enough to do that Deku said. I think she likes you more than that, Mr. Boyfriend Roman said, causing Deku to blush. Neo was currently resting on Deku's chest. You know, she's kind of cute like this Deku said. Don't let her hear you say that Roman said. But Neo did hear, but she smiled. A short while later Neo got off Deku. Deku yawned. Damn. There goes a good night's sleep Deku said. You're telling me Roman said. Neo laugh. Sure, laugh it up. It's back to work for us Roman said. Neo pouted. What are you going to do now Deku asked. The same thing we've been doing before. Our partners are still too dangerous to openly cross Roman said. Well you know who to call when you're ready Deku said. Your enthusiasm is appreciated, but that won't be happening anytime soon. I pretty much just handed my entire organization to the Vale Police tonight, kid, and I don't know what's going to happen with my remaining underlings in this operation. One way or the other. These bastards cost me everything I've built up over the years. Even if I can't get even, it's time to actively look for a way out of the deal Roman said. Neo grinned. Neo. No Roman said. Neo pouted. Also, thanks for the offer, kid. But I'm going to pass Roman said. It wasn't an offer. It was a declaration Deku said. If you say so. But it's killed or be killed on Remnant. Despite what the bigwigs will have you believe, friendship and cooperation isn't how the world works, you'll have to choose a path eventually Roman said. Then I'll carve my own path then Deku said. Ever the optimist you are. That'll come to bite you though Roman said. I'll be ready to bite back Deku said. Roman chuckled. I like the way you think. Now say hi, Neo Roman said. Be safe, okay Deku said. Neo then hugged Deku. Deku then hugged back. You're alright, Bastia. And because I like you, I'll give you a free piece of advice Roman said. Neo and Roman then disappeared. Get out of Vale while you still can Roman said. No can do, Roman Deku said. As Roman and Neo were leaving Roman stopped, making Neo confused. Are you sure you said everything you wanted to Roman asked? Neo dashed towards Deku. Hey bestie Roman yelled. How Deku said, turning around. Deku was met with a blur of pink, brown and white. Neo jumped up, wrapping her arms around his neck and planted her lips on his. You're no longer besties Roman said. Neo then pulled back. You taste like ice cream Deku said. Neo smiled before vanishing. See you around. Harlequin Deku said. Deku and Neo then went their separate ways, feeling like they were melting inside. End of chapter 54